good morning and welcome to something different. <laughs> Monday morning mass. Oh dang. How about that? Mm. How about that? Wow. Uh, for those of you that were with us yesterday, we attempted to go live stream for Sunday morning mass and uh, we had about nine attempts, right Ronnie? Something like that. <laughs> yep. And and some of them you could see us and some of you couldn't and then some of you could hear us and then know a picture. Um, we apologize. Yep. We did exactly what we said we didn't want to do. Yep. And that was half ass it. Um, and so we are still working on some things. Ronnie, at this point, it looks like we're going to try to hardwire the computer to get the Wi Fi. That's per Sean. Sean had the same kind of an issue, and uh, he had told me that. It's tough to go live without a really good connection, signal. Yeah, without a signal. Now, yeah. what was the message that you, you kept getting? Um, that the connection was bad. Poor connection. Was Poor connection, that. and it would be buffering. Mm -hmm. So, And many of you saw that spinning wheel. And yeah, <laughs> so we, did, we barely even got to buffering. <laughs> Here's the thing. If you were frustrated by it, oh, God. we were a thousand times more frustrated with it. And you know what? And I did a test, but I did a test from in my house mm -hmm. and not in our studio. Okay, so when we were on the flip side, which was Tuesday night, you used this setup um, to, to, for the feed for Easily. the flip side? Yep. Worked perfectly. Mm -hmm. But I wasn't live streaming. It was just video chat. With video chat, takes no hardly any you know data at all okay. so it's very it's not as intensive it's not as internet intensive as live streaming now uh this coming weekend you're going to be gone you and your wife will be going to hot august nights in reno nevada yep so there will not be a sunday morning mass uh on I guess that would be the 11th, or, yeah, mm -hmm. the 11th. Maybe. I mean, there's always, I'm going to give you that piece of equipment there. Yeah. And if you can figure it out, if you want to try it, but, uh, you know. And you know, that's a question, and, and that's come up before. I I don't know. You know, but, our audience is used to Lou and Ron. That's true. And yeah. I don't want to. There can be a lot tighter shot, though. Yeah. Or you can just leave an empty chair sitting next to you. Oh, that's an idea. Put a just hang a t-shirt, a novelty t-shirt from right. it. People uh -huh. would think it's me anyway. Yeah. Or you know what else we could do, Ron? Here, just give me a second. I'll get back in the shot in a in a second. Where is it, Ronnie? Oh. Oh no. <laughs> the infamous the infamous Terry Scant is sorry, back. There you go. Yeah. Look, I could put that on the chair. Yeah. You know, uh, again, we're doing Monday morning mass this week. You look beautiful as always. And Thank you. That dress really brings out the, the, the color in your eyes. Uh, we would love to auction this dress off. Oh, dang. I'm telling you, Ronnie, I have had so many email <laughs> and comments from people saying, you guys should auction off that dress. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll start the bidding right now at fifty dollars nice and if you are interested in owning this dress perhaps maybe you could have your wife wear it or even you yourself yep. you could do your own little parody sure um the bidding starts at fifty dollars in the comments below now if you're not prepared to make a donation to our paypal account to purchase the dress please don't bid okay and don't raise the stakes because you know if we if you bid five hundred dollars, and uh, and then take it, and then you can't pay us the five hundred dollars when someone else might have been able to, yeah, that wouldn't be good for us. Well, I know I'm gonna I'm gonna start the bidding myself because I look good in this dress. Okay, so you're gonna say you're gonna I'm, bid fifty dollars. I'm in fifty. Okay, so there it is. There's where it starts. So we need at least fifty-one. <laughs> at least, <laughs> but please more. Okay, and we will auction off that dress uh, all this week. And maybe we'll have a better idea come Friday as to where we are in the bidding, okay? So once again, if you'd like to own this dress, hold it up, Ronnie. So you, you, 
Look at that. That is so it's, lovely. It's stunning. Uh, and it looks so good on Terry Scant. Yeah. Didn't it? Yeah. Okay, so there you have it. There you go. All right, get rid of that thing. Anywhere, over there. Whatever. Okay, so we've got a lot to get carefully. to. We had a show planned for hours yesterday, uh, hours of content, and, and couldn't do it. So the first thing I wanted to kind of do is bring you up to speed on the state of Men Are So Smart. Okay. All right. Uh, first of all, we are now at 608 subscribers. No. Oh. And, um, we might have lost a couple yesterday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm the one that I know of. Let's just say 600. And we have had 80 plus 80 in the last month. Dang. That's a lot of subscribers. But we're trying to get to 1,000, and that is our goal. All we can do is continue to put out great shows, but it, come, it's, it comes down to you. Uh, we need you to subscribe to our channel so that we might get to 1,000 subscribers at that point. I think we can do, um, what is that called on live chat? Where you can donate. Um, oh, mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. But seriously, now look, let, let me, let me uh, caps, encapsulize this. What we're getting at is, Ronnie and I have been trying for about a month now to raise enough money for us to go to Santa Fe, New Mexico. Yeah. Uh, fly there, stay overnight, uh, probably need a rental car, and spend some time with Mr. Fenn. And he has agreed uh, to do that as long as we are not recording uh, with him at the time. Right. A and he doesn't want to really talk about the treasure. And we're okay with that, Ronnie. It's fine. Um, you know, we've got millions of other things that we could talk to him about. Yeah. And uh, his pearls of wisdom. Yeah. That's why we'd like to go. And if you can help us get there, please make a donation to our PayPal account, which is listed below, but I'll give it to you right now. It's paypal.me slash men are so smart. Got it? That's easy. Good. Now, uh, getting back to the state of men are so smart, I'd like to say that this show is being seen in about 15 countries around the world, Ronnie. Wow. Now, most of our views come from the United States, but I thought I would share with you some of the uh, countries where it's being watched. Canada, uh, South Africa, Australia, Boy. China, the Russian Federation, Possible. Morocco, I don't know what you said, but it's funny, uh, New Zealand, which is so much better than Old Zealand. Don't yes. you remember Old Zealand? Yeah, Old Zealand was awful. Until we had the New Zealand. New Zealand is really... Great gotta, Britain. Now on. there you go. Which is better than Good Britain. Or New. <laughs> <laughs> new Britain. Well, you know, that could be happening any day now. Mediocre Britain yeah. was not that great, but now Great Britain, they've got it going on. We're being seen in India, okay. Portugal, okay. Poland. Okay. The Polish people. I'm Polish. <laughs> You know what? If they broadcast this at bowling alleys, yeah, we'd be a hit. Oh, the demographics go through the roof. <laughs> uh, uh, Mexico, See? Germany, da? No, not da. Uh, Ireland, the Netherlands, European country, Czech Republic, Chile, Belize, Hong Kong, Latvia, Ukraine, Japan, Slovenia. What is that? So, yeah, that's it, Slovenia. Okay, so there you go. Yeah. Uh, and that even may be more than 15, I didn't count. We're trying to reach out to Kazakhstan because I really want to get Borat as yeah. a subscriber. Boy, wouldn't that be cool. Yeah. All right, well, speaking of subscribers, uh, I told you that we are very appreciative of your subscribing to our channel, so much so that I'd like to thank the following people. Um, Brent Weimeyer, we Wemeyer, Alan K., J.A. Street, Okay. J.A. has a show of his own. Oh. Uh, reseller Man, Karen Hardy, Imagination of Innocence. Ooh. Mysterious, huh? Very mysterious. Uh, Off Trail Jaeger, okay. Kevin Remington, Robert Arrington, Big Al. Uh, boy, this is a tough one. Mihail Zubsensko. Okay. I'm sorry about that. I appreciate it, though. He's from Slovenia, I'm going to say. It's a possibility. Yeah. I wonder if he knows Zorat. <laughs> Borat. <laughs> Borat. Sorry. Martin Katz, uh -huh. Allison Moyers, Kellen Gamrad, 
Tom Marinock, Dean's 35th, Jose Guichard, and Thomas Hooper. Wow. Those are all recent subscribers to our channel, and we are so appreciative of that. Nice. Uh, we're trying to, as I mentioned, get to 1,000, and we can't do that without you. That'd be a big milestone. All right, Ronnie. In our quest for Monday morning mass, I thought we would uh, mention some of the comments that we've been getting lately. Yeah. You want to take off? Yeah, let me... This one was... Uh, this is from Debbie Teal. Mm -hmm. And Debbie said, I really... I also really like the flip side show. It was good. So we did the flip side and encore show with Sean. Uh, you had to skedaddle a little bit early. Yeah. But it, it was nice. And I felt a little bit out of place at first because everybody on there was boots on the ground except for me. But Sean kind of found a way to spin me into the conversation a few times. He's so good. He is good. He really is a good, you know, if, uh, I don't know, if Jimmy Fallon ever needs a replacement, he could be the guy. Okay. But, uh, so it, it was nice. Uh, well. Uh, and then uh, Sean went on to say, he's got a comment also, wow, your camera and sound is perfect. Thank you. Not for live, though. <laughs> yeah. For live, it's less than perfect. Oh, I'm very irritated by that. Why did I even bring it up? Yeah. Uh, Sean went on to say, good morning, Statler and Waldorf. <laughs> oh, <it's true. laughs> Two old the golfers. Muppets. Big. Oh, is that who that is? Yeah, I thought they were golfers. No, no, no. <laughs> they're, they're the Muppets that sit up in the balcony at the theater, and they make wisecracks about everything they see. Craig Statler and Dusty Waldorf. <laughs> two professional golfers, and two that I said I'd rather be Fuzzy Zeller. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, Ken Blythe, Breakfast of Champions, Bloody Caesar and Bailey's with coffee, a little Canadian, eh? Ronnie, after Lou decides which of t-shirts doesn't fit him anymore, oh, he's yeah. going to send it. Could you make sure it gets washed? <laughs> the reason he wrote that is because I asked a question in the comments not too long ago if anybody could come up with the name of our band. Oh, yeah. And Ken, I don't know how. He pulled it. He went back and must have looked at some videos yeah. and found out the name of our band is TAP, T-A-P, Traveling Atomic Prunes. Right. Long story. If you're interested, you can find it yourself. But the thing is that I told him I would give away a T-shirt to my radio show to anyone that come come up with that answer. So that's what he's talking about oh, there. okay. Yeah. Well, nobody's worn that t-shirt. That's a brand new t-shirt. It, it is. It's so still in the box, actually. We can pre-wash it if you like. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Yeah. It'll shrink. Uh, incidentally, the shirt is one of about six that are left in existence. That's it. Okay. When those radio t-shirts are gone, they're gone. Well, you know the greatest thing about that shirt? It looks good on. It does. Yeah. And it makes you so much more attractive to your preferred sex. Correct. Yeah. It doesn't matter what that sex is. Right. It, You're going to look more. Yeah. Uh, latest statistics, and I don't make these up, 42% more attractive is what that shirt will be. There you be. go. So, yep. Sledneck checks in and says, I'm glad Forrest has guys to talk to that aren't fishing for hints. That's admirable. Yep. One story that I have only heard part of is that he hiked to Bozeman along the Gallatin River. If it is not treasure related, I would like to hear more about that trip. Now see, that's right on the money, Sledneck. Uh, that's a question that we could ask him and we'd be glad to for you because it is not necessarily treasure related. And that's what we're going for. Um, what uh, else, Ron? This one, Paul Paul says, great show as always. Looking forward to both of you going live one day. Oh, one day. That's a little salt right in a, a fresh, fresh wound, isn't it, right now? Not even a scab yet. Ooh, man, that stings just a little. Uh, and that's why we're bringing you today Monday Morning Mass. Oh. Hey, so here's an email that I got, Ronnie. I thought we'd share some email today in addition okay. to comments. This one is a little long, so I think I'll probably have to skip through a little bit of it. Uh, got another one from, this is Samuel, Samuel Smith, and Samuel says, uh, got another one for you guys. I've noticed many people hashing out the capitalization of Brown in Forrest poem. Seems like they say the capital B makes it a proper noun and therefore must be a name of a person, place, or thing. But Brown has a home. Where is your home, 
Lou, Ronnie. Well, I live in Antelope, California. I'm in Folsom. I don't think that's the home he's talking yeah, about. Yeah, I'm in Folsom, California, All which right. is not very brown. No. Not this time of year, maybe. Uh, both uses, uses would be grammatically correct with the B being capitalized. Some even suggest that Meek maybe should be capitalized, too, because they read about Joe Meek or Journal of a Trapper. But it can also be just a regular noun, an antonym of bold, brave, or spirited. Okay. Uh, Hall of Brown Boy, I, you know, when we got that solved from Chris, right. I, I saw that he was talking about some mud huts uh, that the Indian, the Mexicans, uh, when they came to this area, they were building these huts made of mud. And the area was known as the Brown Homes. Right. And I thought, wow, that is surely... Because I looked it up. I went to... Um, the uh, Googles? No, not the Googles. The Twitters? No, what's that other one that's everybody always... Oh, Wikipedia. I went to Wikipedia, yeah. and I did the research and found that it was right. Hmm. And it was said that this particular Spaniard who had traveled to the area, uh, instead of using the material that they had been, introduced mud bricks, and, and thus the, the brown if you will. A uh, funny thing is, folks don't appear to give the same consideration to the use of the personal pronoun I in the first stanza. I is also a noun, but is always capitalized to personify or name a person, place, or thing. Don't we do this almost daily in real life? We use our imagination all the time to pers personify anything and everything so we can invent and embellish tall tales and stories. Hell, it must be ingrained in the human genome by now. Um, I liken it to a family trait. Hmm. So th this is a very interesting, uh, and I'll see if I can post this. Maybe I might be able to do it in blog form on our website. You know, if you're interested in reading our blogs, we have two current ones. Um, you can do it on our website at mentorsosmart.com slash blog. Uh, Mike Nodine. You know Mike. I do. He's constantly, he's, he says something... He comments on almost every video. Well, he loves you, Ronnie. He's a good guy. He says, here is a list of things Ronnie should be proud of. Oh, have well. You heard, have you heard this? I'm perking up. Not complaining about how thick and heavy my file is <laughs> and how he needs a hand truck to move it when he books me into jail each time <laughs> like all the other less sensitive officers. I don't complain about that. Not spraying me in the face with more mace than is necessary to quiet my drunk ass yeah. down. Just a little dab will do you. Not putting too much weight on his knee when he is pressing it into my lower back to hold me down while he cuffs me. I got a wonky knee, so I have to be careful. These are things Ronnie should be proud of. Closing the cell door softly instead of slamming it when I'm in there with a hangover. Yeah, slamming the door is just adding insult to injury. Not calling to tell my mom I'm locked up again like he always threatens to do if he sees me back in jail Oops. again each time I bond out. Oh, I may have done that once or twice. Not locking my wife up when she comes to pick me up and starts beating me up <laughs> and threatening to kill me for getting locked up again. <laughs> so, and that brings us to the final thing that Ronnie should be proud of. Looking the other way when I peel out in my car in the parking lot after making bail and flipping him the finger like I always do as I speed off so he will have something to remember me by. It's the three monkeys, you know. <laughs> See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. Oh, that is so funny, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Our, our viewers are so creative. I can't believe it. Uh, so I've got a comment here from Mama Lama. Now, this was something that you weren't even aware of. And she oh, right, says, right, right. Uh, the after show, this is the encore to the flip side last Tuesday. The after show was not posted. I couldn't watch because my signal was bad and tried to find it. Or maybe I'm having a blonde moment and can't see where it's hidden on Sean's channel. So what he had mentioned pretty early on, in fact, it may have been even just before he started filming, uh -huh. was that as soon as that show was filmed or, or over, he was going to delete the whole thing. Oh. So why? it's not out there. Um, I'm not sure why exactly, but... You know, maybe because there's no real, he didn't expect there to be much real fan content in there, uh, but there was. Uh, so I'm not sure why he deletes 
maybe he deletes all his encore shows. I don't know exactly, but mm -hmm. Sean, maybe we could ask Sean that to, to, for clarification. But you weren't aware of that, but I was aware that was going to happen, and so it's it's just not out there. It's not to be found. Okay, uh, Lou, you guys rock. My name is Tony Henman from Idaho Falls, Indiana, or is that Idaho? Sorry. I'd love to see you guys go see Finn, and I'd like to help. Send a mailing address, and I'll send you both a prepaid visa for a hundo each. I have PayPal, but I want to do it this way. I'm sure you can use a card on your trip. You will make it, I'm sure. After you get your cards, you can use my name and state and town. Let them know they make it, and I have... Let them know I make it, and I have one request. When you're talking with Finn, use the phrase thrown back on the bank. I'm sure he'll give you sideways look. Use it when he backs you up in a corner. I'm sure he'll do that for sure. Happy late birthday and send me a mailing address. Love your show and that you guys are not searchers. That is so cool. Uh, and this is from Glenn Golomsky. Um, thank you very much, Glenn. Here, I'm sorry, uh, Tony. Here's the card that Tony sent us. That's nice. With a nice message inside that says, here you go, guys. Have a blast in Santa Fe. Say hey to Forrest Fenn from all the searchers, Tony. There they are. Now, Tony wants us to put a challenge out to you, our viewers. Tony has sent us $100 each on a gift card. He stepped up. He really did. And we are inching ever so slowly but closer to our goal of $1,500. You could say that Tony put his gift card where his mouth is. You could say that. Mm -hmm. I think you just did. I might have. <laughs> so if you can do that, we would appreciate it. Uh, our PayPal account, once again, is paypal.me slash men are so smart. Hi, Lou. I really enjoy you both. A brush of fresh air in a very confused world. A bit about myself. This is from Glenn Golomsky. I am retired and care for my wife, who is in the late stages of Alzheimer's. I drag her all over the place. We're dating. Uh, could always be worse. So much for that. Received my monthly Reader's Digest in May and discovered the article and poem of, about Forrest Fenn. Couldn't believe that no one found the treasure after all these years. So I decided to dive in. Developed a plan and dove in. Before long, I was hooked. My goal is to get close with a solve or two actually emailed Forrest early one day, introducing myself, and he responded kindly. He's a very sweet man. He is. He's a nice guy. I have introduced myself to many of the longtime searchers. Most are very nice, but some act like they're the only genius in the room. <laughs> Who could that be? <laughs> My guess is that the chase has lost some steam. Thus, the Reader's Digest and Money Magazine articles. I really admire Forrest and would enjoy meeting him as well. I'll keep you in touch and shoot stuff at you to use as you see fit. Take care and keep going, Glenn. Uh, good luck, Glenn. Yes. Um, we appreciate that you watch, and hopefully you've subscribed to our channel. Uh, that's important to us, as I mentioned. I sympathize with you because my my mother went through uh, Alzheimer's and dementia, and it's, it's difficult. You know, my mother-in-law went through it as well. My poor wife uh, was kind of the caretaker uh, as her mother was elderly. And you know what I learned about Alzheimer's disease is that you actually le uh, lose your loved one twice. Yeah, yeah. They eventually get to a point where nothing that they say makes any sense whatsoever. And... If that was your mother, she may not even remember you. Yeah. It gets that bad. And then, of course, when they pass away, and they will. Right. Uh, so it's kind of like you lose them twice. It's very sad. You know sad. what? My mom always remembered me. but the And when I would visit her, she would ask me no fewer than a dozen times how the kids were, if it was hot outside, and how they were doing in school. And you know what? You just answer a dozen times each. It doesn't matter. Right. You're carrying on a conversation. So it's, but it's frustrating to be sure. So again, I sympathize with that uh, plight. Hey, uh, David Laurie, uh, and this is on our last Friday's uh, Forrest Fenn uh, Fen mail. 
He says, Roxanne, I blame it on you for getting a song stuck in my head all day. We may have set that wheel in motion a little bit. A little bit, yeah. Uh, because you said, uh, Roxanne, you don't have to turn that red light on. No, you don't. And I said, David Laurie, don't worry. You don't have to wear that dress tonight either. <laughs> so I leave it to Terry Scan. Ronnie, <laughs> you don't have to put on the red dress. Uh, okay, thank you very much, David. Appreciate it. Uh, Treasure Hunter, T Hunter. Uh, this is a guy that corresponds with me quite a bit. Please, no need to do the same for me on your show. Didn't do it for recognition. Just wanted to spread the word about your guys. Great sh about you guys. Great show. Just remember me when you guys do a hundred thousand dollar giveaway. Peace unto you both, and safe travels. Uh, what he did was he posted something about us on Harry's forum. Have you ever been on that? No. I'm done. Oh. I'm done going there. Really. Uh, yeah, uh, and I wrote back to Hunter, almost wish I hadn't read the comments, though. Probably won't be going to that forum again, Lou. He writes, yeah, sorry, I tried. Everyone's a cynic. There are some of us that do love you guys, and I don't give a shit what people say, oh. LOL. There you go. And I wrote back, the guy, and this is what was said about me, the guy who was in love with himself actually loves his viewers so much so he and his partner Ronnie give everything they have in every episode so if that comes across as loving yourself on camera well then I'm guilty we'll deal with it um, um, and I wrote back I'm fine uh, I, I did think about that comment for a couple hours but unlike him I have a live program to do in the morning this was last week right. and I'm completely focused on that so T Hunter thank you very much I appreciate it yeah. Uh, I've got a comment, and this is from our the show that we did on Do You Hate Your Spouse. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. But it's a good one from Ken Blythe. And he said, I think it's uh, more important to like someone for who they are and what they do, love someone to death, but there are too many things you don't like about them. It makes for a long, tough relationship, just yeah. my opinion. Later, fellas, here's the ones you love and hate. Uh, and you said... Uh, evolution for men has not evolved. We are hunters. <laughs> yeah. We are always looking for the next conquest. Uh -huh. uh, many men are always looking around the corner to see if they can find something better. It's not until later in life we realize that we're too old to be hunters. Uh, then and only then do we shut that instinct down. So I have to tell you, I was talking to... Uh, I went into work last week for the Sheriff's Department and one of the, and we were talking about a lot of people where I work were training officers. I happen to be a patrol training officer, so new guys that were coming out to learn patrol techniques, I had them at some point in their training. And one of the guys I had was freshly divorced, and every person we contacted or every female we contacted was a possible new target for him. Oh my gosh. And he was so focused on that aspect of the job, he couldn't do the other part of it. And so I had to fail him. He did not make his, he, he didn't pass his patrol training. Wow, that's pretty tough. Um, you, and you know who you are out there if you're watching. I doubt he is. He's probably trying to, and the, the biggest issue I had was he was going after, looking at and considering women 20 years younger than him. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So, I mean, yeah, he was all right looking, but he wasn't this. Right. You know. Well, no, who is? Right. All right, all right look, that's going to uh, just about do us. We're just about out of time. Uh, thanks for joining us today for Monday Morning Mass. We hope you've enjoyed. Uh, please subscribe to our channel. It would be much appreciated if you would do that. We're closely watching our numbers as we roll towards 1,000 subscribers. And again, since this is a mass show, uh, I will, I know you have to work tomorrow, but I will be on here commenting as live as possible. So as you post something, I'll try to reply to it and, you know, give you my best. All right, terrific. Check out our website if you haven't already. It is menaresosmart.com. And I uh, want to say hi, Forrest Fenn. Thank you for watching today. Yeah. We appreciate that. Um, my name is Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. And we will see you on the next Men Are So Smart.